Today, we have a special segment for you called What's In My Phone, a show where I show you the apps and games that I've been using for a very long time in my phone in hopes that maybe you would want to use the app also. So with that, my name is Tarvin from KL Gadget TV and let's check out what's in my phone. I recently bought Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and The Division, and as you know, both these games are very team based. So, with that, I would need an app to actually communicate with my friends when we are playing this game. And the app that I am using is called Discord. So what Discord is, is generally a place where gamers can come together, discuss about games and even play games together. What is convenient about this app is basically you don't actually have to initiate a call with everybody in the group. All you need to do is open up a voice channel and then just join the voice channel and anybody else that were to come into that voice channel will automatically be connected with me, eliminating the need to actually call your friends and tell them to join the call. Discord can also store multiple groups. So as you can see here, I actually have a group where all my old friends are here. So this is where we basically just have our chit chats and that kind of thing where we find new games together. Other than that, Discord also supports bots. So what bots can do is basically you add a computer into your group and this computer can initiate commands that you give to it. For example, there is a music bot and a music bot is basically a bot that can play music off YouTube. All you need to do is just give the command to the bot and whoever that is inside that voice channel will listen to the music that the bot is playing. If you are interested in getting Discord, Discord is available for the iOS, Android and for Windows and it's a free app. So if you are looking for a voice chatting app for games, then this is the perfect choice for you. When I'm not playing games, you probably can find me watching a new movie or even catching up with the TV series that I'm watching. However, as you know, there are immense amount of TV series out there and it is very hard to keep track of it. So what I use is this app called Series Guide. Series Guide is an app that can keep track of all your TV series and even tell you when the next episode is coming out. So for example here, I watch a lot of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I've caught up with all the seasons and I'm waiting for the latest season to appear. So as you can see here, if I go over to the Seasons tab, I click on Season 5, it can actually tell me that the first episode of Season 5 is going to come out in 7 days. The next tab is the History tab. In the History tab, it keeps track of what series that you have already watched. The upcoming tab basically tells you when the new episode of the series is coming out. And it's done in a much more organized way compared to the first one. And the last tab is the Recent tab. The Recent tab basically shows me shows that I probably have missed that have already come out. And of course, you can add a show by simply pressing the Add button and searching for the show. So for example, I probably want to keep track of Rick and Morty because I've recently been keeping up with Rick and Morty. So all I need to do is just search Rick and Morty. And then Rick and Morty should be over here. So if you need an app to keep track of your TV shows, then Series Guide is available for Android. Sadly, it is not available for iOS, so you guys might have to find another option. If you're a person like me, I don't like to carry wires around, but occasionally I need to transfer some things from my phone onto my computer. So the solution is AirDroid. So AirDroid is basically an app that would allow your phone to interface with your computer without using a wire. This makes it very easy and super fast if you have a good internet connection. So as you can see here, the app is pretty simple and pretty straightforward. There are two ways to actually interface your phone with your computer. One is using the AirDroid web app or downloading the AirDroid software to your computer. And all you need to do to connect your phone with your computer is basically just scan the QR code. Here I have the web app of AirDroid. Now, as I mentioned before, all you need to do is actually just scan the QR code and I confirm that I want to sign in. I've got my phone in and you can see that it has registered my phone. And there you go. This is basically all the contents of my phone. If I go into my camera, you can see here it's loading up the pictures of my cameras. And I can even view the pictures that are on my phone. As I mentioned before, you can download the files from the phone to the computer. And to do that is actually pretty simple. All you need to do is just highlight what you want and then you just press the download button. So as you can see here, this is stored on the computer. And there you go the image that I've just pulled from my phone onto this computer. 
Now, the same can be done for the computer to the phone. Let's say I want to copy over a file. I'll take this image and put it inside here. And as you can see, it's uploading the file. Done. So, this was the image that I took from uh, my computer and threw it onto my phone. So, let's go over to my phone. A very simple method if you do not have a wire and a much convenient method if you do not want to carry a wire. So guys, if you are interested in using this application, it is available on the Play Store. Sadly, there is no version for the iOS right now. Occasionally, I do take breaks from working and when I take a break, I probably whip out my phone and play a quick game on my phone. And the game that I have for you guys is called King's Raid, which I've invested a lot of time into it, so it's pretty hard for me to stop right now. But what King's Raid is, is basically a side-scrolling RPG game where you control four characters to progress through stages in order to gain more loot and of course level up your characters. Now, it is a very generic phone game because you know you have leveling up of uh, equipments, you can ascend equipments to add more stars, your characters can also be add more stars to it. But why I like this game is because it plays itself. Yes, there is an auto mode to it, but that's where the grinding comes in. And as you know, it's a mobile game, so there's a lot of grinding involved. But aside from the grinding, they actually offer a lot of things for you to do. You can go to the general store to buy items, you can enhance your items, you can go to the inn in order to recruit more heroes to join your crusade, and you can go to the arena, and of course, PvP. So after grinding for an entire day, what I and my friends usually do is that we meet up our local mama and we play co-op. Yes, this game supports co-op, so it's very entertaining, especially if you have friends to play this game with you. So if you like King's Raid and you think that you and your friends might be interested to play this game, it is available on Android and iOS and it is a free app. So guys, there you have it. Those are the apps that I've been using for a very long time in my phone and I hope that some of these apps might be interesting to you and you might want to consider to download them. If you do, the links are in the description below. My name is Tarvin and I will see you soon.